Hello, everyone. 大家好 Welcome to today's everyday Chinese. In today's lesson, we will learn how to say the large numbers from one hundred to nine hundred and ninety-nine. Now let's get started. The Chinese word for hundred is 百百 hundred. To say one hundred, you simply use one plus hundred. 百 So one hundred is 一百一百 and two hundred 二百二百 three hundred 三百三百 Now listen. 四百五百六百七百八百 If there is a zero in the middle of the number, like one hundred and nine, in English we say one hundred and nine. Whereas in Chinese, we don't say the word "and." Instead, zero should be read aloud. So one hundred and nine is read one hundred zero nine. 一百零九一百零九 Now try five hundred and one. Five hundred and one is read five hundred zero one. 五百零一五百零一 Did you get it right? Now have a listen. 一百零一二百零一三百零一四百零一 And how would you say one hundred and ten? One hundred is 一百 Then say ten. Ten, as you know, is 十 But here we can't simply say 十 for ten. Instead, we should be more explicit that there is one ten. So we should say one hundred one ten. One ten is 一十一十 then all together, one hundred and ten is 一百一十一百一十 literally one hundred one ten. And you may wonder, can I say one hundred and ten as 一百十 No, you can't. Going back to lesson fifteen. We talked about numbers smaller than one hundred, like twenty-one. We say two ten one, 二十一 thirty-one, three ten one, 三十一 then forty-one, four ten one, 四十一 and so on. So, following the same pattern, does it make more sense? To say eleven as one ten one, 一十一 stating the number of tens here. But in fact, when we say eleven, we simply say ten one, 十一 and twelve, ten two, 十二 So between eleven to nineteen, the rule of being explicit is not applicable. As we commonly assume that there is one ten, which is very obvious. Well, to summarize, when we say the numbers from eleven to nineteen, we simply use ten, 十 plus the basic single number from one to nine. However, when we say the numbers larger than one hundred, we should be more specific in stating the number of tens. Now say three hundred and eleven. Three hundred is 三百 Then say eleven. As we mentioned before, if we say the numbers larger than one hundred, we should be explicit about how many tens there are. Three hundred and eleven is larger than one hundred. So when we say eleven here, we should say one ten one. 一十一 Then altogether, three hundred eleven is 
三百一十一 literally three hundred one ten one. Now say three hundred and twelve. 三百一十二 three hundred and thirteen. 三百一十三 Now is it clear? All right. Let's listen to the following numbers and see if you can catch them. Three hundred, four hundred and one, five hundred and twelve, seven hundred and twenty-two, six hundred and twenty-five, eight hundred and twenty-six, seven hundred and twenty-seven, three hundred and twenty-eight. That's all for today's hundred. As you practice more and more, the numbers will come to your head more naturally. Thanks again to our voice contributors. In our next lesson, we will learn how to say the large numbers like one thousand and ten thousand. I will see you next time. 再见。